Hi, this is Jim Anderson with Psalm Tree CFO, and we're going to talk about producing goods and services and how we can glorify God with them. And we also will see how it also provides temptations for sin. Before there was sin in the world, God created Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. That's in Genesis 2, verse 15. And he told them to subdue the earth and have dominion over it in Genesis 1, verse 28. word used in this passage implies that we should be making use of the resources of the earth for our benefit, creating all kinds of things like we do today in modern days. Adam and Eve probably could not have conceived of anything even close to the technology we have today, and we probably can't even conceive today of the kinds of things we'll produce many years from now. Imagine how they would praise God for such a great earth that God gave us with such, the re, such resources to create all of these things. There are, just, there are no planets in the universe that we know of with such resources. We can truly say that the whole earth is full of His glory. That comes from Isaiah 6 verse 3. God created us with a need for material things. And you know, we, when he created angels, he didn't give them that need. But in his great wisdom, he created that need in us. When we create material things, God sees us imitating his wisdom, knowledge, skill, and strength, and creativity and appreciation for beauty and use of language, ability to plan ahead, and authority over things of the earth. When we create products for others to use, we're demonstrating a love for others. We understand the needs of others and we understand our interdependence on one another. This is also something that's true of the Trinity, the interdependence. As we manufacture products with a joyful and a thankful spirit, as it tells us to do in Colossians 3 verse 23, it gives us, it gives God joy to see his creation reflecting his character. And when we work with a thankful heart and a joyful attitude, others will see God's character in us. We also get paid when we do this work, but it is not the only reason that we do it. We do what we do for the benefit of others. When we approach work this way, we fulfill what it says in Matthew 5 verse 16. Shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Amen. 
we have a God-given desire to be productive that represents our desire to exercise dominion over the earth and to be faithful stewards of God's resources by achieving the solutions that solve problems. This is what God wants us to do. While we work since the fall, it has does have characteristics of pain, which we find in Genesis 3, verses 17 through 19. You know, it works since the fall. It is painful sometimes. When we have wars and oppressive governments, we decrease the productivity of the population, and that is what increases the influence of the curse on us. The story of the Bible is about overcoming that curse, and as Christians, we work towards God's purpose when we are productive. We can become overly consumed with material things for their own sake. We're tempted to be prideful, you know, as business owners, and, and we can be focusing on accumulating all these things for ourselves. That's what worldly people do. The more we do that, the more we harden our hearts and become selfish and greedy. We may also become attracted to the production of products that bring in a lot of profit and at the same time are harmful to us and to others, such as pornography and destructive entertainment. Becoming more productive is not evil. It's actually a good thing and is pleasing to God. Do you, how do you view productivity in your business? <laughs>